What exactly is the difference between the nose and the tail of a fingerboard and does it even matter? First of all, this is how you find the nose and tail of a fingerboard. If you have a graphic on your board, check which way it's facing and the bottom part is going to be the tail and the front part will be the nose. Now that you know where the nose and tail is, what's even the difference between the two? For pretty much all skateboards, the tail is always a little bit shorter and steeper whereas the nose is a little bit longer and not quite as steep. So that's for a skateboard, but what about a fingerboard? Because fingerboarding is a lot more fast paced, you don't really notice too much of a difference if the nose or tail of the board is steeper. That being said though, there are quite a few fingerboard companies out there who still go through the effort to make the tail a little bit shorter and steeper, but there are also quite a few fingerboard companies out there who just leave the tail and nose the same. Now that we know all that, does it even matter if you pop the board off the nose or the tail? I can't speak for everyone when I say this, but I've tried quite a few fingerboards before and I honestly can't tell a single difference whether I pop off the nose or tail. So now you know.